Students, in this video, we're going to cover symbolic notation. You should have a student copy of the PowerPoint for this lesson. Our, our, our objectives are right here. I'll let you read those. Um, we'll get started. So some of the slides have a TDYC, I think, before you click. That is for you to either write or type in or you can just think about the answers before you click to see what comes next. It's a good way to check if you understand what we're doing in real time. So a conditional statement is a statement that uses uh, the words if then to connect two individual statements. Uh, at the bottom, we have two angles have equal measure and the two angles are congruent. We can express this as if two angles have dot 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 uh, equal measure then the two angles are um, congruent so that's a lot to write each time so we have these symbols that we can use to represent each statement so since statement P represents two angles have equal measure and Q represents uh, two angles are congruent, we can write that if statement if then statement as P arrow Q, and this is going to mean the same thing, if statement P, then statement Q. So uh, remember P arrow Q means if statement P, then statement Q. And this is one of the think before you click or try before you click slides. So pause the video, write your answer beneath each uh, problem and restart the video to check your answers. For one, you should have gotten if a shape has three sides, then the shape is a triangle. And for two, you should have gotten if a shape is a triangle, then the shape has three sides. Next, we have negation. Uh, a negation is the opposite statement for a given statement. We use the symbol tilde, so squiggle, and we put that in front of the letter that we uh, of the statement that we're negating. The negation symbol means not, but it does not necessarily mean add the word not to the statement. A negated statement has the opposite truth value of the original statement, so. If the original statement is true, the negated statement will be false. If the original statement is false, the negated statement will be true. On this slide, it's another think before you click or try before you click slide. So pause the video, write the negation of each one of these statements. I've already told you if they're true or false. So you have to come up with a negation. For statement P, you should have gotten two is not a prime number. For statement Q, you should have gotten complementary angles do not add to equal 100 degrees. And for statement R, you should have gotten three is an even number. So for statement R, notice that the original statement contained the word not and the negation just took out the word not. For a disjunction, a disjunction is a compound statement that connects two statements using the word or. The logical symbol for the word or is a V and a disjunction as an entire statement is true if at least one of the individual statements is true. Uh, four types of disjunctions are you could have a true statement or another true statement. For instance, we could have Christmas is in December or Thanksgiving is in November, and I'm going to circle the things that are true. So because we have true or true, that entire statement is true. You could also have a true statement or a false statement like Christmas is in December or Thanksgiving is in July. Christmas is in December is a true statement. Thanksgiving is is in July is a false statement, but as an entire statement, we would still say that's true because the first statement is true. We could have a false statement or a true statement, such as Christmas is in May, 
or Thanksgiving is in November. Christmas is in May is a false statement. Thanksgiving is in November is a true statement. So this statement is totally true after, because the second statement is true. And the last thing we could have is a false statement or another false statement. So Christmas is in May where Thanksgiving is in July is a false statement because both of these individual statements are false. So we have another think before you click slide. In this case, I give you four statements. You have to write the um, statement that's implied by these symbols and also tell me if the statement is true or false. You've been told beneath each statement if the statement, the original statement is true or false. Pause the video, write your answers, replay the video, restart the video to check your answers. So for P or Q, you should have gotten two is an even number or three is an odd number. That is a true statement. Both of those statements individually are true. For R or not S, you should have gotten six is a prime number or pi is not a whole number. In case you forgot, pi is 3.14, which is not a whole number. So that's a true statement. Six is a prime number is a false statement. For not Q or S, we should have gotten uh, three is not an odd number or pi is a whole number. Both of those statements are false, so the entire disjunction is false. And last, you should have <clears throat> six is not a prime number or two is not an even number. That is a true statement because uh, six is not a prime number is true. Two is not an even number is false but true or false makes a true statement for a disjunction. Next, we have a conjunction, and a conjunction is a compound statement that connects two statements using the word and. The logical symbol for the word and is an upside down V, and a conjunction is true if both of the individual statements are true. Uh, a real world example of a conjunction would be when you log into a website, you have to put in your username, you have to put in a password. So the conjunction part of this would be the username has to be correct and the password has to be correct. And that uh, grants you access to the account. So if it were that you could log in with a correct username or a correct password, that would be a disjunction. And it would also be a very insecure way of uh like protecting people's uh, privacy because usernames are quite easy to find. Uh, and as long as someone had your username, they could log into your account. But a conjunction uh, in this case prevents that because both things have to be true. So a conjunction has four types. We have a true statement and a true statement. That makes it, that's the only time a conjunction is true. For example, Christmas is in December where Thanksgiving is in November, this is a true statement, and this is also a true statement. Uh, this should be um, and, I'm sorry, that should be and. Um, true and false equals a false statement for a conjunction. So that, uh, again, an example would be you have the correct username, incorrect password, that's gonna not let you into the account. So Christmas is in December or, and Thanksgiving is in July is a false statement. The third example would be if you have Christmas is in May and Thanksgiving is in November. For example, you type in the incorrect username, but you type in the correct password, you still don't get access to that account. So this is going to be a false statement. And last, we have Christmas is in May and Thanksgiving is in July. So this would be an example of if you typed in the incorrect username and the incorrect password, obviously you don't gain access to the account. So again, the only time a, dis a conjunction is true is if both individual statements are true. So on the next slide, we have four examples for you to try to uh, demonstrate you understand a conjunction. Pause the video. Restart, to the, restart the video to check your answers. For the first one, we should have 
two is an even number and three is an odd number. Next, you should have six is a prime number and pi is not a whole number. So that's um, false and true, which makes a false statement. Next, you should have three is not an odd number, which is false, and pi is a whole number, which is false. So false and false makes a false statement. And next, we have six is not a prime number, which is true, and two is an even number, which is true. So true and true make a true statement. And last, we have a quick check that goes back over the entire lesson. It's another thing before you click. We have... Uh, so you write, I don't want to give any uh, spoilers on this. So you come up with answers for this and we'll check the answers after you restart the video. So for one, you should have, if February has 31 day days, then Mr. Martin teaches geometry. Next, you should have Mr. Martin does not teach geometry and February has 31 days. That's a false statement. And last, you should have February does not have 31 days or Mr. Martin teaches geometry. That's a true statement. After this, you all have a three question quiz on Canvas that covers this to make sure you understand. Thanks for watching.